Since January 20, 2023, our system ranks SPY as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0, 0.000. During this period the stock has outperformed our expectations with an gain 5.28% since we first told you to buy SPY 10 days ago. This is an average return of 0.53% per day since first recommended. The stock getting zero in score indicate that our system expect high volatility and risk for the following trading day, and given the latest development are not able to determine the next direction as it may go both ways. In our daily updates for SPY our last headline reads, Evaluation of SPY ETF downgraded after the last trading session. The SPY ETF price gained 1.46% on the last trading day, Thursday, February 2, 2023, rising from $410.80 to $416.78. It has now gained four days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.32% from a day low at $412.88 to a day high of $418.31. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days and is up by 7.24% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 153,000 shares and in total, 100 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $41.55 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $462.07, and the lowest price was $348.11. Right now the price is 9.8%, or $45.29, below 52-week high and 13.17%, or $63.20, below all-time high January 4, 2022 The ETF has broken the week rising the short-term trend up and an even stronger rate of rising cents. is indicated. For any reaction back there will now be support on the roof on the current trend broken at $413.41, a level that may pose a second chance to hit a runner. According to Fan Theory, $446.57 will be the next possible trend top level and thereby pose a resistance level that may not be broken at the first attempt. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 2.26% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 6.70% and 1.43%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 12.30% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 30.49% and minus 15.15%. This equals a price between $289.71 and $353.63 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for SPY. The SPY ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $406.49 and $392.29. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, December 28, 2022, and so far it has risen 10.65%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 25 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 14 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 12 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 15 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals.
Support, Risk and Stop Loss for SPY On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $394.49 and $388.08. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SPY finds support just below today's level at $394.49. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $388.08 and $376.35. This ETF is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the ETF moved $5.43, 1.32%, between high and low. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.59%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. The stock does not have any resistance from accumulate volume above and may therefore move very fast upwards given the right conditions. You should therefore enter the stock and use volume to determine when to exit. On a downturn SPY finds first level of support at $394.49 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Our recommended stop loss is $399.08, minus 4.25%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 24 days ago. Is SPY ETF a buy? SPY holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Friday 3rd we expect SPY to open down $0.790 and start trading at $415.99. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember